showing you uh, this. So if you've seen my previous video on this solar system, uh, which is a very budget, pretty free for me, but pretty much under 20 quid for you. Uh, no, under 30 quid. Um, so if you want to check out the video, I'll link it up here. Um, but here is basically just a 30 watt solar panel on this stand I built yesterday because the previous one was uh, just not really good enough because basically it was facing this way so it got from sunrise till about now which is pretty much half two um, and then it would just be just scraping it and uh, I'd get to 14.4 maybe midday so fully charged it wouldn't be putting more in and I could plug things in it would stay at 14.4 the second it got to about half two which is pretty much just only over half the day so you, you still got a lot of the day left to go um, it would start dipping if I plugged something in so I thought I'm going to fix this because I was outside yesterday offloading some footage sat on my little bit over there and uh, I looked at it and I thought you know what I just do it now so I used the same wood and I just used two parts one you may have to purchase and I don't think it's probably that much or, or you can just make it up and see if you um, uh, can come up with your own way of doing it and then another thing most people have got it so just two parts and some wood uh, some screws obviously and it's pretty sturdy, it's more sturdy than the last one because uh, it actually uses screws rather than cable ties it does use one cable tie though so yeah I'm going to show you how to build this really cheap and easy rotating so it rotates and then I can also tilt it for when the summer because I built it for the winter uh, and now it's summer it wants to be a bit higher up so I've made this tilting mechanism and then obviously it rotates as the sun goes round so yeah I think it's a really really good way um, of getting the most out of your solar panel uh, if you obviously have a permanent location, so if you're looking to do it maybe in your garden or wherever, so yeah. And I'll show you the mechanism now. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this roughly right now. Um, so it's basically a frame built to the same size as the panel, as you can see. Two bits down there, screwed together with these two bits, and then I've put some self-tapping screws in just to hold the solar panel on properly. And I've got this leg down here just to join it. I didn't bother cutting it because I thought, well, you can't really screw into that because it's not thick enough, whereas this one is. So I just put it like that. And it works really well. And then here's, you've got your main post in the ground, as you can see there. And then there's this scaffolding joint, which uh, it does rotate. That's why there's this cable tie, because it holds it up from stopping rotating. Um, and this, to make it tilt, um, it's a coach bolt, so it's got like a, a hex um, shape in underneath the rounded bit. So I just basically stuck it through a hole uh, in, in the floor, because uh, we, we have a pallet wood floor outside the shed. Um, and then just whacked it with a hammer and it just wedged in there. And now you can use your hand to turn that. Uh, and then I drilled in at an angle that I wanted it and that basically pushes it out but it wasn't enough so I put a nut in the end that was the same for the bolt so all you need is like a 150 mil bolt I reckon it's about 150 mil and uh, the nut for it and then you make a hole a bit bigger this side and you whack it in with a hammer until it stays in it wants to be a hex bolt and you want to make it just smaller and you whack it in and it stays in properly and then you can just thread it up and it will go up and thread it down and it will come back down so yeah really good way of um, tilting your solar panel because it's just on a hinge here I forgot to show that bit but it's pretty obvious what it's on if it tilts uh, yeah and this one stays clamped um, that's the cable tiles on about and that just keeps that stopping spinning around or falling to the floor and if I come around here it's as simple as undoing this so you hold this 
You undo this, and then you can rotate it how you so please, which I think is a very good way. And if you're like me and you really enjoy like checking your solar um, and all of that, because I love just monitoring the solar and I love monitoring the temp temperature, which if you haven't seen that video, that's one of the videos I recorded uh, yesterday, uh, but it would have been up a couple of weeks ago now. Um, that temperature, I just love looking at the temperature because I'm really curious. So this, I'm always coming back and forth. Or you could have it like three settings. You could have sunrise till maybe about 11 o'clock. Then you could have uh, like a timer or something and you can go turn it to um, the middle and then have it from like 11 o'clock till three o'clock and then another timer and then you come here, turn it for the last bit of the day until when the sun sets after three o'clock. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a, a really good way of doing it. And uh, I've just got that cable tie and it seems to be falling off now. I think I need a better cable tie. Anyway. So yeah, I think this is a really cheap and great way of um, making your solar panel tiltable. Uh, this is just using some old bits of pallet wood. So it's really, really free. Uh, and if you want to do this, yeah, just a long 150mm bolt with its own thread and whatever you can find that can attach two poles together, it doesn't matter what it is, uh, as long as it unthreads and you can spin it and thread it back in. And all I did, because these were too big, I just got a saw to cut it down, cut it across to us to make them a bit smaller around that bit. Okay guys, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, I'd much appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Um, and if you want, you can send me a picture on Instagram if you built one or whatnot. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button with the bell icon, and you'll see more solar and van related videos. And I'll see you in the next video next Wednesday.